boys and girls, Miss Chatterton is going to read Chickens Can't See in the Dark. On Sunnyside Farm, there is one chicken that all the other chickens are talking about, and her name is Little Pippa. It all started when Mr Benedict told his class as sure as eggs is eggs, chickens can't see in the dark. Little Pippa was very disappointed. She wanted to see in the dark more than anything. And she knew somebody who might be able to help. As soon as school was over, she went to Mr Owl's treehouse. A chicken who wants to see in the dark, said Mr Owl. What a hoot! And he laughed so much he nearly fell off his chair. Mr Owl wasn't very helpful at all, thought little Pippa. So she decided to go to Miss Featherbrain's library instead. Miss Featherbrain looked puzzled when Pippa asked where she could find a book about seeing in the dark. Chickens can't see in the dark, she said. That's just an old hen's tail. So Pippa searched high and low till she found a book called Old Hen's Tales. And there it was. Tail number 264. Carrots help you see in the dark. Carrots? I need carrots. Pippa squawked and off she scrambled to the farm shop. What's a little chicken like you going to do with all those carrots? said Granny Bumblefoot. I'm going to see in the dark, said little Pippa. Oh my feet and feathers, laughed Granny Bumblefoot. Chickens seeing in the dark, whatever next. But Pippa was already on her way home. She wanted to find out how many carrots would help her see in the dark. She ate one carrot, then two, then three. After carrot number four, Pippa decided the best thing to do would be to eat all the carrots. So, she hurried to Mother Hen's pantry to cook up the biggest carrot banquet ever. Little Pippa made carrot cookies, hot carrot chowder, crispy carrot crunchies, carrot curry, carrot croutons, carrot custard, carrot quiche and chewy carrot caramels. The delicious smell of Little Pippa's banquet wafted over Sunnyside Farm. And before you could say cock a doodle do, all the chickens were outside Mother Hen's pantry. I'm going to be the first chicken that can see in the dark, said Pippa, as she got ready to spread out her carrot feast. The chickens looked at each other and laughed. Then they looked at the cookies, quiches, custards, curries, cordials, and cupcakes. It all looked very tasty. It looked impossible to resist. As the sky grew dark. The chickens gasped with delight. They could see things they had never seen before. Twinkly stars, shimmery shadows and the beautiful moon. We were wrong, you were right, they squawked as they gathered around Pippa. Chickens can't see in the dark. Mr Benedict gave Pippa a friendly pat and Miss Featherbrain gave her a peck on the cheek which made Pippa blush. Or perhaps it was just all those 